Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever wanted to build your very own calculator? Well, today is your lucky day. In this tutorial, we're going to create a fully interactive calculator in Scratch. And trust me, it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's dive in. Go to the Backdrops tab, then click on Paint, use the Rectangle tool to draw the calculator body, add rectangles for the display screen, and circle for buttons. Great! Now that we have our layout ready, let's move on to adding the buttons. Go to the Sprites tab and click, choose a sprite, choose the sprite number from 0 to 9, and resize and arrange in a circle. Awesome! The number buttons are done. Next, we'll add the operators. Create four new sprites for operators, plus, minus, asterisk, and slash. Label each one clearly and position them below the numbers. Create a clear C button sprite to reset the calculator. Create an equals button sprite for calculations. Position these buttons neatly on the layout. With all the buttons in place, it's time to make them work by adding code. Let's create the variables we need for this calculator. Variables will help us store values and perform calculations. Go to the Variables category in the code box. Click Make a Variable and create the following variables. Display. This will store the display value of the calculator. Memory. This will store the first entered number. Answer. This will store the result of calculations. Operator. This will store the operator for calculations. First, I'll show you how to code the clear button, which resets the calculator's display and memory. Now, we'll add the first set of code to reset the calculator when the program starts. Click on the clear button sprite, go to the code tab, dot drag, and drop the when green flag clicked block from the events category. Then, add the following blocks from the variables section. Set answer to empty. Set display to empty. Set memory to empty. Set operator to empty. This ensures that every time the calculator starts, it resets all the values to their default state. Next, let's make the clear button functional when it's clicked during use. Stay on the clear button sprite. Drag and drop the when this sprite clicked block from the events category. Repeat the same steps as above. Set answer to empty, set display to empty, set memory to empty, set operator to empty. Now, whenever the clear button is clicked, it resets all the values, giving you a blank slate to work with. Let's make our calculator show numbers when we click them. Right-click on the variable display and select Large Readout. This makes it look like a calculator display. Drag the variable to your calculator's screen area for better visuals. Coding the digit one. Let's start by coding the first digit, one. Select the one sprite. Drag out the when this sprite clicked block from the events section. Add this block. Set display to one. Test it by clicking on the one sprite. You should see one appear on the display. But there's a problem. If you click another number, it replaces the current display instead of adding to it. To fix this, we'll use the join block. Choose the join block, add display to the first space, and one to the second space of the join block and put this in the set block. What this does is combine the current display with the new number, so the digits are added instead of overwritten. Now that we've solved the problem, let's repeat the process for the other digits. Duplicate the code for each number sprite. Replace one with the respective digit in the join block. Now, let's add functionality for operators like plus, minus, times, and divide. These operators allow us to perform calculations. Let's start with addition. Click on the plus sprite and follow these steps. Drag out the when this sprite clicked block. Add the following blocks, set operator to plus, set memory to display, set display to empty. This code does three things. It saves the operator as plus, stores the current value in memory, and clears the display for the next number. Coding other operators. Repeat the same steps for other operators. Finally, let's program the equals button to calculate results based on the operator selected. All right. Let's get started by selecting our equals button sprite. When this sprite is clicked, that's when we want our calculator to process the equation and display the result. We'll start by using the when this sprite clicked block. This event triggers the action when the user clicks on the equals button. Simple enough, right? Next up, we need to check which operator is selected. Is it addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division? For that, 
We'll use if-else blocks. Let's start with addition. We'll check if the operator is equal to the plus sign. If it is, we'll add the values in memory and the display. So we'll say, if the operator is plus, then set the answer to be the memory value plus the display value. That's your basic addition calculation. Let's move on to subtraction. If the operator is the minus sign, we'll subtract the display value from memory. For this, we use another if-else condition to check if the operator is dash. If it is, then subtract the display from memory. And set that as the answer. Next, we're doing multiplication. If the operator is asterisk, we multiply the memory value by the display value. This one's just like the others, but with multiplication. <laughs> and for division, we'll do the same thing, checking if the operator is slash, and then dividing the memory by the display. Now, once we've calculated the answer based on the operator, we need to show it on the screen. So, let's set the display to the calculated answer. This ensures that once you hit equals, the result is displayed for you to see. Try it out, and you'll see that it works just like a real calculator. Thank you so much for following along today. I hope you're enjoying building this calculator project just as much as I am. I'd love to hear how it's going for you. Are there any features you're adding to your calculator? Drop a comment below and let me know how it's coming together. I'm super excited to see what you create.